watching. Hope you enjoy. So today I'm going to put Barons on. And you might remember in my first episode, I put Mountain Kings on because I wanted that speed up the hill and I was only just cruising and doing like trail rides. But now I've started to build up and doing more bigger jumps and stuff. I want a bit more support, not like such a light tire. So I'm going to try the Baron and see how that goes. I don't want to put a full on downhill Kaiser on because I still want that speed up the hill. So Baron is the perfect tire. Lemmy, are you going to help? Whoa. You gonna help change tyres? Oh, oh. Use my trusty tyre levers. Rusty because I've had them for so long. I use tyre levers and a metal one. Don't judge me. Got some plastic Conti ones just in case. French national anthem that is. I always seem to sing the French national anthem when I'm just chilling out and not really thinking of anything. Once you've let all the air out, you want to unseat the tyre all the way round, round the other side. I cannot do it tyres without tyre levers, so it's just the way it is. If you haven't got two tyre levers, you can use one tyre lever, a spoon, a fork, a knife, an Allen key, whatever you want. You want to put the first tie lever in and then hook it round hook it round the spoke which is amazing you want to put the tie lever just where the tire starts lifting off the rib not too far down it's too tight just where it starts lifting off hold it with your thumb go again go again and then you should be able to get your fingers under and just slide it round and it'll come off easy just peel it off and there you go Oh yeah, fresh rubber. You want to find the rotation of the tyre. Rotation is that way. Wheels going that way, tyre. So they should go on together. So you just want to get about three quarters on. Use your knee as a little wedge. I'm not strong enough or manly enough to do it without tyre leaves. Let's see if I can. Oh, right. So then you want to get your tie lever and just winkle it on and then she's on. So once the tie is on, you need to put the sealant in. We use stands, no tubes. We use it for racing, we use it for training. If you get a puncher, sealed. It's like a palm width in the bottom of the tire. Just pop the tyre on as much as you can, keeping that sealant in. And once you've got it in, woohoo! It's on! Oh, that's not working. Why isn't it working? Oh, I can see why it's not working. The tyre is over the other side of the uh, Valve, ha! <laughs> so the valve's going straight out to fresh air. Squash that over a bit. That should work. So you want to hear about three bangs, I think. Three pops, so that means it's the tyre's seated onto the rim and then you check it. So that was three. Oh. So that side's seated. this little line to be the same all the way around. If, you, if the line goes under the rim, it's not seated, so keep pumping. And that is done. I'm gonna test the Barons that I just put on. Speed, grip, rolling speed. <laughs> oh, 
That was rapido. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Did the skinny. Yeah. Work on your balance. Yeah, it's well balanced. I need a hug. <laughs> there, there. Get back on your bloody bike and do it better. <laughs> You lost. <laughs> Going down racetrack. I don't want to go first. <laughs> I've had enough crashes. I'll go first. I'm going to be chilled right. Yeah, you can go first. You should go first. I don't, I've never cleared that last jump though. Yeah, oh, you will. But if I'll get in your way. No, you won't. Should Just don't it? break too much. Don't break. Yeah. Get that, get that pump down just before it. Just don't crash on it. <laughs> <laughs> tree in the middle. That's lovely. Hello. This is... Is it? This is Dougie. Douglas fir. Affie's favourite tree. Planted in the middle of the berm. actually good running. So this is the jumps that I did in the last episode. I want to measure them. That's take off the wall. That's Raffi. 
Well, I've figured out I'm going to lie down and lie down and all, go all the way along the jumps. Then I know I'm five foot eight, so then I'll add it up. But I'm really bad at maths. I might use a calculator. really worked I did like a slow burpee measured my head and then jumped to the next spot so one of me two of me three of me four of me and then the landing five of me so five of me which is five ten fifteen twenty twenty five foot plus the eight inches because I'm five foot eight so eight inches eight inches so it's basically like thirty foot that's pretty good. And I measured the last jump, the very last jump, and that was 25 foot. So basically, and then if I measure that one, which would probably be the same, that's basically loads of big jumps. And what's really annoying is that at World Cups, you never measure the jumps. No one ever knows how far they are. And you normally do the biggest jumps at World Cups because it's a race and it doesn't matter how big they are, you just do them. The finish at Mount St Anne, that's quite big. The finish at Leergang, you jump so far in your race run. And like, you don't even know how far it is. It could be like 60, 80 foot, probably 80 foot. <laughs>